Good morning and good afternoon again. My name is Jack Fitzmaier, I serve as the Executive Director of the American Academy of Religion, uh, and I'm delighted to welcome all of you to this video conference which is entitled, New Scientific Approaches to the Study of Religious Experience. In a conversation several months ago, a senior staff member at the AAR remarked that our organization has one chief and central ability. That is, we have the capacity to convene. I think that makes sense. In fact, we do a lot of convening at a huge annual meeting at nearly a dozen regional gatherings every year and in our work with 22 committees, juries, and task forces. Sometimes I joke that the AAR is just a gigantic scholarly travel agency and actually I have the budget to prove it. So given the cost of uh, convening uh, groups at particular venues and given the advances in technology, it has seemed to me for some time that scholarly societies like ours ought to be experimenting with the use of video conferencing. I find this notion kind of compelling for financial reasons, obviously, but for scholarly considerations as well. Our organization is committed to providing scholars of religion as many opportunities as possible to advance their research and to collaborate with their peers. If video conferencing can enlarge our capacity to convene, so much the better. It's with this, it, was, it was with this in mind that I approached my friend Bob McCauley, who had recently been named the director of Emory's Center for Mind, Brain, and Culture, with an idea. Could he imagine a scholarly conference located someplace within the broad topic of religion and cognition? And could he imagine doing that conference electronically? If he could, I said, the AAR would be happy to sponsor such, a, uh, such an experiment. So here we are. It turns out that video conference uh, uh, presentations like this uh, pose two major challenges. One, obviously, that we're all familiar with relates to the scholarly side of things, choosing a topic, finding a good date, arranging for speakers, and so forth. The second challenge, however, has to do with uh, things technical, and it's quite daunting. We've already experienced some of it this morning. IP addresses, cameras, recording devices, software that gets contrary, and so there's a powerful and magical necessity we've discovered, and I don't know what it stands for, it's an MCU, and there are the letters right up there. You'll soon hear from the scholars uh, who I think will demonstrate that we've met the first challenge, that is to say, the scholarly one. But the second challenge was complicated and somewhat vexing, took a lot of rehearsal and practice, a lot of administration. Uh, so some thanks are in order. Uh, our friends at Oxford have been extremely cooperative and diligent, and I'm particularly grateful to Harvey Whitehouse, director of the Center for Anthropology and Mind, to Aram Pilendiram, the IT manager at the Schools of Anthropology and Interdisciplinary Area Studies, and to Stephen Young, who's the computing grid manager at the Oxford E-Research Center. On the Emory end of things, I want to thank Jim Cruz, particularly, uh, of the S Emory Center for Interactive Teaching, who has been both gracious and very patient with a group of perfect, perfectly ignorant uh, neophytes. And I also want to thank my colleague Gary Latterman, uh, chair of the Department of Religion here at Emory, uh, who with Bob helped to organize and recruit our panel of scholars. Steve mentioned this, uh, though our conference appears to be located at Oxford and Emory, uh, in fact, there's an unseen force at work. Uh, this is religion and cognition, after all. Uh, Chris Lindsley, video production manager at Georgia Institute of Technology, is out there in the ether someplace, I think here in Atlanta, uh, who's recording the conference, and we'll have it available, we hope, uh, afterwards. So thank you very much, Chris, for your help. And finally, uh, this would not have been, this whole thing wouldn't have happened without two very patient and level-headed staff members uh, from the AAR. And that's Steve Herrick, our Director of External Relations, and Susan Snyder, who's here as well, uh, Director of our Religion Source Project for Journalists. So, Bob, with thanks to you as well, I suggest that we let this experiment begin. All right. Uh, thanks very much, Jack. Uh, um, I am Bob McCauley, the Director of uh, the Center for Mind, Brain, and Culture at Emory University. And I, too, want to welcome uh, everyone to this experimental video conference sponsored by the American Academy of Religion on new scientific approaches to the study of religious experience. Um, the Emory Center uh, for Mind, Brain, and Culture 
uh, is dedicated to highlighting and promoting uh, the outstanding multidisciplinary work carried out at Emory on these topics. Now toward that end, uh, the CMBC has organized this conference in cooperation with the Department of Religion uh, here at Emory and with the Institute of Cognitive and Evolutionary Anthropology and the School of Anthropology and Museum Ethnography at the University of Oxford. Um, this video conference is an initial experiment at conducting a standard academic conference comprising two sessions between speakers, commentators, and audiences from two locations, 